Welcome to the State of Wyoming Subject Matter Minute, where we cover a wide variety of subjects related to State of Wyoming employment. This information is for you and me, the state employee. From hidden benefits to systems and processes, we'll make your job easier by giving you the lowdown, the how-to, and hopefully entertain you a bit along the way. And now, today's Subject Matter Minute. Hello and welcome to another Subject Matter Minute. I'm Matt Nagy. Thanks for joining me. So I wasn't sure how people would receive last month's episode on mindfulness meditation. And while it was the first episode that I had a thumbs down, <laughs> I think it also got the most thumbs up initially. So thanks and I hope some of you try it out. All right, so today I was gonna talk a little bit about the tornado that happened a couple weeks ago in Laramie. It was a doozy and it was amazing. But um, after losing a few hours of sleep last night, I thought I'd get a little more personal. Now this gets a little long, I get a little chatty. So if you want to just find out about telehealth, feel free to skip forward. As you guys know, I believe I have a couple teenagers and I'm sure a lot of you out there have teenagers. We gave, we've given them a fairly late curfew and they've been pushing it by staying out every single night to their curfew and we're getting a little tired of never seeing them. I mean, I assume that's normal with teens, but um, so we made this little rule this summer where we wanted them to stay home two nights a week. You know, not too big of a deal, you'd think, but my older daughter was grousing about it yesterday and um, she uh, then, about the time we were going to bed, she was saying she was going to go to bed and she said goodnight. And, and that's extremely unusual because my wife and I got to bed fairly early. And so I got suspicious. So I set my alarm for midnight and got up and went up, checked on my younger daughter. She was there, checked on her and looked okay. You know, looked, seemed like she was in bed. And then I, so I was like, okay, great. Started walking away. And then Moments later, I was like, wait a second. My younger daughter had fooled me before with pillows in the bed. I, I, I kid you not. So I went back in there and sure enough, pulled them back and it was a bunch of pillows lined up in the bed. So I just texted her, said, get your butt home, check in when you get home, you know, and then I was, they're teenagers, so I was trying not to be too worked up. It, you know, it was only midnight. She's out till midnight, you know, all the time anyways. So. But on the other hand, I couldn't go to sleep. So she came home not too much longer. I just said, go to bed. And I couldn't go to sleep for like three hours. So it was one of those things where I try some music. I tried going to the TV room and, you know, watching some dumb TV. But turns out it was new episodes of Parks and Rec, or at least ones I hadn't seen. And so then I got into it and that didn't work. So finally I got back into bed and was able to sleep. So that's an aside, I guess, but dealing with teenagers, you know, I got to say I snuck out a few times or several times when I was a kid, but it was a lot harder for me. We lived like five miles out of town and I had a quarter mile driveway, so I couldn't just drive out. I had to get picked up after walking down the field or whatever. These guys, we live in, we, my wife and I sleep in the basement <laughs> and we sleep hard so they can just walk out the front door but we're pretty lenient parents. So, you know, you'd hope maybe that would mean that they could follow a couple rules. Mm, yeah, no, no matter what the rules are, they need more, right? So any comments down below to make me feel better would be great. All right, so enough about that, that was long. <laughs> Today, I wanna to talk about something that I used once and it's a great health benefit. Today, we're gonna to talk about telehealth. Okay, before we get started on telehealth, first I want to thank Kimberly for the information for mindfulness meditation last month. Thank you very much. I think it went over well, Kimberly. And this month's subject matter expert is Ralph Hayes of EGI. Uh, he helped me out with some details that I was unsure of. Thanks, Ralph. So telehealth, what is it? Well, it's simply basically having a doctor's appointment through your computer or through your mobile phone. It's great for a lot of instances. So is it hard to get an appointment with your doctor or at least in a timely manner? Um, 
Do you not want to go wait in the waiting room and then wait in the little room even longer to get, you know, talk to your doctor? Um, perhaps you're on the road on vacation or for business, or it's the middle of the night and you have something that you think, you know, it's not an emergency, but you'd still like to talk to a doctor about it. This is what health, uh, telehealth is for. And to boot, it's cheap. So the cost for telehealth is $42, okay? And that's one thing about telehealth, you have to pay up front. When you're going through the process, you put your credit card in, but the $42 will go towards your deductible. And if your deductible is met, it's a 75% coinsurance. So that means that the $42 they'll pay 75%, you're only gonna pay 25%, you're gonna pay $10.50 for a doctor's appointment. Okay, now, obviously this is telehealth. If you have a giant gash across your chest or your, your arms hanging at a 90 degree angle, you don't go to telehealth. You go to the emergency room or somewhere else. But for all those little things, you know, that you sometimes maybe don't go to the doctor for, but maybe you should, you know, the colds, the the, um, the rashes, uh, the ear infections, those kinds of things, this is perfect for it. And $10.50, <laughs> right? Okay, so like I mentioned, there's two ways you can do this, on your computer or on your mobile device. Um, there's two providers that work with Cigna and they're called uh, MD Live for Cigna and Amwell for Cigna, okay? so. You can either, I think the best way to do it on the computer is to log into your Cigna account and then go through there, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but you can also use the mobile apps, okay? But if you get the mobile apps, you need to make sure that they say for Cigna. So MD Live for Cigna or Amwell for Cigna, because that's where you'll get your price difference. They may be, there may be some other apps out there that they use, needs to say for Cigna, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it, how, at least how to get there on your computer and how to get there on your mobile device. Now I can't go all the way through it because I don't want to talk to a doctor today, but I can at least get you started. And like I said, I've done it before. I had a little rash on my leg that was there for like, I don't know, nine months. Finally, I was like, let's try this telehealth thing out. Sure enough, logged in, it was really easy. Talked to a doctor, he prescribed uh, some ointment took care of it in two weeks, I was thrilled. You know, it was very easy. So I'm gonna show you how. I guess I should start off by saying that you do need to have a webcam and a microphone in order to make this work. Most somewhat modern computers should have both. Okay, so let's do this on the computer first. First of all, just go to mysigna.com and log in. Now there are two providers, like I mentioned, and I've already used one of them. So you'll see there's a difference if you've used them before or if you haven't. So right here, you go to find providers and costs, go down to Cigna Telehealth Connection. And here are the two. Now here's a nice feature too. You could also talk to a nurse first free to see what they think, to see if you should move on to a doc, okay? So I've used Amwell before, so I'm gonna show you one that you haven't used if you haven't used it to begin with. So click Get Started. Make sure you have pop-up pop up blockers off because it does open a new window, okay? So it takes you to MD Live for Cigna, all right? So you're gonna have to activate your account, then choose a doctor, then resolve your issue, okay? So let's activate a, an account. So this is the kind of stuff you're gonna have to fill out. Have your Cigna customer ID number ready. And then after this, I'm assuming, it's been a little while since I did it, but you'd have to fill out your credit card information, okay? So this is what you would do if you have not used it before. Now, let's go back here. I've used this Amwell before, so if you click Get Started there. Now typically, I just practiced this, so it's not doing it this time, but even if you've used it before, it'll have you put in your phone number twice and then take you to the screen, okay? So if you used it before, you'll get here and you'll see that you can get started with a first available provider or you can weed through the doctors and read their bios and decide on one. During the day, there are a lot of them. Um, I did mine in the evening and there was fewer available. And I did hear of an instance from somebody where there wasn't someone available on one provider, so they went to the other provider to find somebody. Okay, so that might be 
one reason you have to switch. Okay, so that's how you get into it and start the process um, on your computer. All right, now let's go through the process on your mobile device. Now I can only show you on an iPhone because that's what I own, but I'm sure it's the same on other devices. First of all, you'll need to download the app or the apps. Okay, so I go to the app store and I search for it and I found MD Live here. And then let's go back and search for Amwell as well. Amwell for Cigna. Remember, it needs to say for Cigna for both of them. Click on that. There's that. So I would tap get. You download both to your phone. Okay. So then once you have them on your phone, you can go ahead and click on MD Live here. So when you use MD Live or the or Amwell for the first time, you'll have a screen like this where you can either log in or sign up. So I'm going to click sign up on the bottom. And then it takes you to a screen just like the website, okay, where you can activate now. So we're going to click on that. Same stuff as on the website, you'll need your customer ID, and you fill that out and create an account. Okay. I'm not going to do that right now. But then next time you just use your username and password to log in. Okay, that's another episode of the Subject Matter Minute. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you guys can get out there and use this telehealth for those minor things. I think it's a great benefit and I think it saves everybody money. All right, I'll see you next time. You have been watching the Subject Matter Minute with Matt Nagy. Please help us out by subscribing. And join us next month when we'll cover another topic of interest for all State of Wyoming employees. Again, thank you for joining us on the Subject Matter Minute.